it's time to crochet. Last year I threw a cottage core themed birthday party and as part of the decorations I made this crochet table runner. Very nice. And it was great. It looked it looked very pretty. I liked it. But I don't really need a table runner in my life right now. I don't know. Maybe later. Maybe when I finally move into a forest and start my forest goblin transformation. Maybe then. But right now I don't really have use for this. So my plan was after my birthday was done to turn this into a cardigan. And then I never did. My birthday was in April last year so whoops but um I, I guess i guess it's 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 kind of good that i didn't do it back then because now i have this channel and now i can share it with you so yeah that's what we're doing today i need to make a bunch of granny squares again for those of you who have been following me since the spooky series and have seen the spooky crochet sweater video know that i once before committed my entire life to making granny squares so I can do it again, I guess. This is going to be fun. My 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 hands are already in pain. I already made a plan for the layout of the cardigan so that I know how many granny squares I need. These are 30 and I um, came to the conclusion that I need like an estimated total of 120. Why are we still here? When I made this, this took me so long to make. I mean, I, I, I guess right now I, I got a little bit faster at crocheting. Just to suffer. Yeah, but th th this, will, this will be fun. Okay, so I need 120 in total. I have 30 plus this one that I made yesterday to see if I even remember still how, how to make these. And I do, apparently. So I have 31. That means I need 89. And I also, I, I started already crocheting yesterday and I made like 10 of the inner rings. So I have 31 whole granny squares plus 10 of these little guys. Uh, the brown part's done. And... I guess what's what's there more to say let's let's make some squares I think I'm going to just start with a brown and make like 79 of these so I think I'm just going to do that first and then do the second color and then the third and then the fourth color crochet hook yarn let's do this I went to buy yarn yesterday and I didn't find the exact yarn that I used last year I, I think this is this is the one but like the, they didn't have the, the light green anymore so I just bought similar color and I think it works that it's fine yeah let's crochet whoa by the way if you, when when you've watched this video uh, all the way to the end and I do in fact have a cardigan in the end I'm not sure yet because I've never made like a project this big without a pattern before so um, we don't know what will happen but if I do in fact have a cardigan by the end of it then tell me in the comments if I should make a tutorial on how to make this I would probably make just a tutorial video for free obviously so if I have a cardigan by the end of this and you like it and you want to make it for yourselves then go tell me in the comments and then I will start working on a tutorial video. And that would be all of the granny squares, or they will be. I now finished all the, the inner rows, or the, the part with the brown yarn. It's day two, it's 1 a.m. I started sometime in the morning yesterday and I made, how many did I make? 79? Yes, 79 of these. I can't say I have much sanity left in me, but it's time to continue. Yeah, ne never stop the, the crocheting grind. It's time for this. 
a dark yellow color. This is going to be the second row. And now I need to make 89 second rows. And then a third row. And then a fourth row. Okay, let's go. Let's let's crochet. It's time. You know what? I don't even mind like crocheting. I like crocheting, so I obviously don't mind. I really don't want to like do the what's it called? Like getting rid of these. I hate that. And I'm going to have to do 90 in the end. So I wanted don't want to do that. But that's I mean it will probably like be next year when it comes to that because first of all I had have to crochet a lot. So yeah, let's do it. Day two. Time for the second color. Let's let's see when I finish this. I'm kind of like losing my mind every time I do something like this. So it's, it's kind of the same with when I did the, the spooky sweater. I now have committed my entire life to crocheting. I did nothing but crochet yesterday. Um, I might have a problem, but that's fine. Wait, how did the second row go? All right, day three. Yesterday I made these and today I made these and I have about these many first rows left. And by the way, I'm storing them in a head because... <laughs> Yeah, but now I am out of this dark yellow yarn, so I need to order more of that. But I don't want to do that now because I would probably also need to order more of the green and the brighter yellow. So I am going to do the third row now, see how how many little guys I get out of the yarn I have. And then I'm going to do the last row, the green one. And when I then know how much yarn I need to order, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to do the rest of these. These are 32. So... Not even, not even half of what I need to be doing, but uh, that's fine. And yeah, and then while I wait for my yarn to arrive, I can already start editing this video. So um, efficiency and stuff. Yes. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm still waiting for the yarn that I ordered to arrive. So while that is going on, the waiting, I'm trying to wait faster. It's not really working. But in the meantime, I already started blocking the ones I have made already. I don't even, I don't even think I feel like crocheting the green part. But here it is. Kind of looked like more when I had them all stacked on top of each other but yeah this this is what i've done very nice very cool uh now i have to wait for the rest of my yarn to arrive but these are just chilling here now it's the coldest hand the run down this land where the ocean lands It's the tallest sound, the damn smallest crowd, but their hearts break loud. Far from ever feeling lost with me, I'll push you back towards the land and sea. Let go and out for love and love is free. We got some squares. After years of crocheting and losing like all of my brain cells, I now have all the squares that I need. Oh my god. Now I'm going to weasel in the tails and steam block these real quick. And by real quick, I mean this is going to take me several years. But then, then it's time to Avengers assemble these. And you have no idea how excited I am for that. So, um, see you then. It's time to put these bad boys together. Okay, I have the layout that I made. Please remember, this is not a pattern. I came up with this and so we don't know if this will work. Just to remind you of that little fact, this is the moment of truth, the real moment of truth. I made 120 granny squares, but I don't know if this will turn out how it should. We will find out, however. So I have the, the layout right here on my iPad. Beautiful. Very nice. I bought some white yarn to join the granny squares and I want the stitches to be visible. So I want the squares right side facing out. My trusted crochet hook. And I forgot what I wanted to say because my brain is as smooth as a dolphin. By the way, I realized that, I don't know if 
Wait, wait, there, there they are. Okay, I realized that the new light green yarn that I bought is actually way different from the one that I bought like a year ago. I don't know if that translates well on camera, but it's way different. But as our dear friend Bob Ross would say, that is a very happy accident because I initially planned to make like a checkered layout thing. So, so I meant to have like a dark green and light green, dark light. You know, but then two of the same color would definitely meet at multiple points. So having three colors is actually way better. So that's very nice. Um, here, here are all the squares. Um, that's that's a lot. <laughs> Can you tell that this like used every last brain cell that I had. There's not much left in here, but I guess it's enough to, to finish this. I can do it. Okay, let's start with the back panel. Okay, so this is the layout for the back panel and it's kind of looking really big. I, I don't know. I feel like this is going to turn out very oversized, but I like oversized things, so it's fine, I guess. We'll see. I'm just going to start putting these together. Okay, so I now have all the panels that I need and I've already laid them out how they are supposed to be. So this is the back, the sleeves and the front. And I am not too confident in it. I mean, I gotta admit, having it laid out like this, it kind of looks good, but I'm still not sure. So now the only step left to do until we can see if this actually turns into a cardigan and till we know where we are at is to, to join these together. After that, we need to make some sleeve cuffs and like bottom cuff and stuff it. After joining these together, we will know if this actually works. I'm nervous. Imagine this just doesn't work. I've spent like hours, lots and lots of hours on this. I've crocheted non-stop for the past weeks, except for that one time when I was waiting for my yarn to arrive. And during that time I was editing the video. So now the editing is already halfway done. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine this, this just isn't wearable in the end. Let's find out. moment of truth. I mean, I can already tell like that it's it's a cardigan. It's It looks like a functioning cardigan, so that's something at least. I'm going to try it on anyways now to see if it actually fits me, because if it doesn't, that would suck. <laughs> Time for the first reveal. I'm wearing this thermal sports shirt underneath my hoodie because I'm always cold. I'm a little cold gremlin made out of ice cubicles. Time to put the thing on that I made. Sleeve number one. Oh, before I completely put it on, you are not allowed to look for too long because if it looks bad, then my soul will immediately teleport into my little shame corner over there. If it does look good, then you're not allowed to look t for too long because because that would kind of spoil the grand reveal in the end. But okay, okay. Now stop looking. Stop. No, this. I mean. It seems to work. Okay, okay, you saw enough. Now it's time for some more wide. Yay. It is done. Oh my God. Thanks for watching. No, I'm kidding. It's of course time for the reveal. Spoiler alert, it's beautiful.
I I just I love how this turned out. It's oh my god, it's so comfortable and it looks so beautiful and it worked out so perfectly. I wasn't entirely sure if oh, okay, I'm on the floor. If this part was going to work out you can't see but the, like the the back part because when i tried it on the first time before i did like the white stuff here it didn't really fit perfectly in the back it was kind of pulling back and i don't know it just wasn't perfect and then my hope was that i could fix it with this but i have very limited knowledge of how clothing works so i was not sure at all if i would be able to but i guess i i i, I was my plan worked and now I have this beautiful cardigan. It's, I love it so much. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to tell me in the comments if you want me to make a tutorial on how to make this. If enough of you want me to make a tutorial, then I will probably make a little community post telling you guys that I'm working on one. So also go subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And yeah, hope you had fun. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye. Okay,